Have you ever seen the color purple? I bet you haven't, because purple doesn't exist. I'm Alexander Wynn, and this is Slice of Science. To be clear, I'm not talking about the acclaimed film or the novel by Alice Walker on which it's based. No, I'm saying you have never seen the actual color purple, because frankly, it isn't real. Seriously. Bust out the old family prism and take a look at the visible light spectrum. You'll notice that after blue comes indigo, a sort of darker brother to blue, but no bright, vibrant purple. So then what color are Thanos, Barney, and Waluigi? Well, they're purple, just only in your brain. Our ability to see color relies on light receptors in the eye called cones. We have three kinds, red, green, and blue. You may remember this trio from staring too closely at your TV screen. That's no coincidence. Every color we see is just different combinations of these three receptors, with the ratio between them defining the specific hue. When your red and green receptors fire together, you see orange or yellow. When your green and blue receptors fire together, you see cyan or teal. But the midpoint of red and blue should be green. So what happens when your red and blue receptors fire together, but your green receptor doesn't? Well, your brain has to perform a trick to interpret what you're seeing. So it makes up a color that is red plus blue, but not green, and we call it purple. This is also why artists will often represent the spectrum as a wheel, while scientists represent it as a line. To a scientist, going past red becomes infrared, and going past violet is ultraviolet, both of which are invisible. But to an artist, the fake color purple allows them to bridge the gap between blue and red, bringing the rainbow back around to its beginning. So the next time you see a really beautiful shade of lavender, plum, violet, or mauve, give your brain a little thanks. It made that color up just for you. <laughs>